Hey guys, how are we? Just wanted to um, show you a few things I've been changing on the system. Um, I've had about a week or so off work, went away for a few days with the family and just come back and had a couple of quiet days. Um, just making some changes and I'll show you what they are. Alright, we've got a beautiful day here today. Um, I'll just show you where the sun is. So it's uh, mid-morning, about 10.30am I think. Um, so I used to have an issue with these trees here. The sun just sort of tracked along the top of those. But now the sun's clearing those fully. I get full sun for a good four or so hours there. And then it just goes behind these trees here and then I get the full sun over over here for another two or three hours in the afternoon. So I do live on a mountain and I'm on the eastern side of the mountain. The sun sets in the west. So the sun sets over there so we don't get all the sun we would if we were on the other side of the mountain or on top, obviously. Um, so I've just made a couple of, couple of changes with the solar. I chucked an extra panel up on the shed roof there. So I've got three panels up there now and I've still got the two up on the house that you might be able to just see there uh, they're still connected so they when the sun swings around over here I pick up some solar from those two in the afternoon but these three are in full sun now and will be for a few hours so that's that what you got Louie? what you got? absolute cracker of a day here just beautiful. Alright. Okay. So we've got... <clears throat> we're getting like 400 watts, 7 or 8 amps out of those three panels at the moment. Um, the system's saying 94.5% but I don't think that's fully accurate because I've... I um, have added the 60 amp power, a uh, 60 amp pack back on. I took it off for a bit and I've put it back on. I have added these wires from connecting the positives of the hundreds and sixties with um, two amp fuses in between there. So I'm just keeping in, keeping an eye on this as it's coming to the top of charge. We're at 3.43. Three point four five, yeah, three point around three point four five. So I'd say it's around eighty percent at a guess, but yeah, I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Um, when they do come to the hundred um, percent, I will um, adjust the state of charge setting in the Batrium software. Got. 60 amp hour pack I've got one cell that's misbehaving and it's um when the rest of the cells were at 3.45 this one was at 3.6 so I've had to put initially a little globe just with the alligator clips and then that wasn't enough to keep it down so I've got the IMAX sucking some power out of it as well um, I'll just see what it's at now if I can 3.55 so that's alright that's keeping that down but um, that would be a problem that cell if I was to leave them unattended um, the way around it is I could charge to 3.45 that would take that cell to about 3.55 3.6 and if I cut it off there it should be okay but I'd have to monitor it, monitor it a few times first. As you can see, there's some cells in bypass, the ones with the red LEDs. A couple up the back there. And that corresponds with what's on the screen here. It's saying 99% state of charge. Um, I don't think that's quite right because the, cell, the highest cell is only 3.5 so that's probably because I added the 60 amp hour pack and didn't change the settings uh, for the state of charge.
there's a bit of work to do balancing. It looks totally different with the 60 amp hour pack connected, the the way it's balancing. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to keep this 60 amp hour pack connected because the 100 amp hour just works really well. But at the same time it is nice to have that extra capacity there. I wish I could find another four of these cells then I'd um, parallel the two the two packs, this pack here and the remaining cells I have over there. But yeah, we'll see how we go with that. We're, we're around 3.6 for the highest cell. Um, as I said before, I probably will have to um, cut it off at 3.45 because of this cell that wants to go high way too early in the 60 amp hour pack here. I've got the IMAX connected back up and the little light globe there. Alright guys, any um, comments leave them below. Um, hit the like button, subscribe if you want and I'll keep you up to date with what's going on here. Alright, bye now.